Hi again. Oh, hi again. Um, today we're going to be doing something a little different. So recently I read a book about a girl named Sadako Sasaki. And it's a really good book and you should read it. And it's about a girl who folds 1,000 paper cranes to make her, you know, make her, um, she had a sickness from an atomic bomb. But I'm not going to give too much away. But it tells you how to fold the origami crane in the back of the book, so I thought I'd, I'd show, it to, show it to you because it's a really cool model. Okay, so what we're going to need is a square paper, and if you're using color paper with one side, or color and the other side just white, you can start with the white side up. Wait, no, the red side up. Or the colored side up. So, fold in half diagonally. This is a simple model, not too hard, but it might turn out a little messy, but it's fine. Okay, just so one fold. Fold this way. So now you should have a cross. Turn over and fold in half horizontally. So you should have the white side up and fold it in half so you sh so both sides are red. So I'll fold do the same this way, the opposite way. Okay, make a crease and I'll fold. So this is the tricky part. Well you might know about it. You're gonna make a square base. So you're gonna take these two Put them together like that and squash one more time. And if you can't do that, here's the technique. So do the opposite thing. Turn over on the white side, take these two corners and put them like this. And then this is a water bomb base. So then what you're gonna do is sort of unfold. You should have a point, like going in, flip it over on the white side, and push that in. And you should sort of have, like, you should sort of form like that. Okay, so now we have a square base. So what we're going to want to do now is take this flap, this flap, and fold it to the line right there. Well, this one to the line too. And what you're gonna do is take the top layer, all those papers, and fold it down. So you should have a triangle. So now this, this is the tricky part. So without like putting this up, just take these two out and take the bottom of just one layer, not these, just one layer of paper. Fold it up. This is part. Put it up until it can't go anymore because of the crease that you made with the triangle. And you know, so you should have fold here and fold here, fold here, fold here. Put them all down, and so they meet the line. So it should look like this. One more time. Do the same thing on the other side. Fold them in. And fold the triangle down. Take these out without them folding. Pull all the way up. Take these. Like another thing, you want to make it sure it doesn't like go here or anything like that. You want to get, make sure it goes all the way to there. So the next thing you want to do is fold it over so that you have two two flaps, not the one that's just a like simple, these two. So 
take this side up. Right. Okay. So these should be on the bottom. Take this one, fold it up to that line. Make sure this is the part that's gonna be these are gonna be the wings, so make sure you get good creases on here. Do the same with the other side. This is the part that usually is a little hard. I can't get it right. So flip it over and do the same. You should have the point coming down, and like so, it, it goes bigger and bigger. Hold this down until it can't go anymore, until you see that triangle. Pull it on the line, right there. Flip it over, do the same. Until it can't go. And when you look at it, you should, it should be lined up with the other flap. But the line should be the same. Okay, so now th these are the wings. If you can sort of like pull them out, that's what it looks like. So, put them back down. And what we want to do is take these these flaps and just put them like that. This way and this way. Just like opposite ways. Okay, so you're going to take this and there should already, already be a crease right there. A crease right on that. And until it can't go anymore, just bring the whole thing up and pull it on line. Do the same with the other side. So, this all the way up, and the other side all the way up. So then put these back. No, actually, don't do that yet. You need to make the head. So to make the head, you just fold down a little triangle, increase it. And that's all you need to do. So, that. so make there's a lot of paper right here. So make sure you get a good crease while you're closing it up. Just do it the same way that it was before the wings. So now you have a tail, a neck, and a head. And if this part's open, if the tail or the head is a little messy, just try to fix it up because it's. Nobody's going to be really looking at the tail or something like that. So the next thing you want to do is take the head, or you can start with the tail, but I like to start with the head, and bring, just bring it out. Make a new crease. I do the same with the tail, but bring the whole tail out, and then here's the neck. Bring it out, crease. So we're just like sliding it out. So you're basically done. You just need to make the wings and the inside of it. So to make it look like a real bird, with like the back of it, you're gonna need to, so just like put the wings up. And you can sort of see that it's like a bird. But to make it look like a real bird, you want to make it so it's like sort of rounded. So then take your thumb and your fingers below and just like t pull these out. And this should sort of be coming. Sort of like a water bomb. And if you can't get it to do that, just like squash a little with your fingers. And there you go. You don't need to do it all the way, just like you don't need to make it a square. And there you go. That's the paper cream. Bye.